In this video, we're talking about the difference between uncompressed and compressed audio files. Let's go. Now, before we get started here, what we're talking about is file compression as opposed to audio compression, which is a different topic. There's another video up there all about that. But this is whether you're using a file compression type like MP3 or M4A to reduce the size of your audio when you're exporting it from your digital audio workstation. Now to understand compression when it comes to file size and audio, there's a few things we need to understand about audio quality. We need to know about bit depth, we need to know about bit rate, and we need to know about sampling rate. So let's jump in and explain all three of those now. So let's start with the sample rate or the sampling rate. Now this is how many snapshots of your audio are taken over time. So you will have seen this expressed as numbers like 44.1 kilohertz, 48 kilohertz, 96 or 192. Basically all you need to know about this is the higher the number the better, but you want to be at at least 44.1 kilohertz when you are setting your sampling rate for any sort of audio. The other two concepts to understand sound similar but are actually quite different. There is bit depth which is your 24 bit, your 16 bit, your 32 bit. This is the resolution which means how much dynamic range. Can you hear those quieter sounds and do you get the best quality audio? 24 bit is about the standard and that's generally what you want to go with with your audio. And the third concept that sounds similar is bit rate. Now this is different from bit depth and this is only relevant for your compressed audio files. Now if you've ever seen an mp3 file you would have seen that it's measured in kilobits per second. So 128 kbps is about the standard that it used to be. These days it's 192, 256 or even 320 are the standards and again the higher that bit rate is then the better quality audio you're going to get out of your compressed audio. Now the answer answer to what you should use and when is pretty simple. If you possibly can, you should be using uncompressed audio. The reason is that every time you compress it, even at those higher bit rates like 320, you are losing quality. You're losing some of the sounds because compression by its very nature is removing some sound. Now it does try to remove the inaudible parts of the sound, but it doesn't always do a fantastic job. So if you are sending your audio file out of your DAW, if you're going to use it in a video, if you're going to release it using something like DistroKid or Amuse online to get it to Spotify, Apple Music and all the rest, keep it in an uncompressed audio format. You want it to be in 24-bit quality, 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate as long as you possibly can and then only compress when you need to, which is what we're going to talk about now. So when should you use compressed audio then? Well, it's whenever you need a smaller file size. So whenever you want to email something, you want to upload it to a sharing site or something that you want to share with someone else where the actual quality doesn't matter as much. So if it's just someone listening to your song, that's okay. If it's actually going to a platform, so you're uploading it to SoundCloud, Cloud, or you're uploading to somewhere where they're going to compress it anyway, then make sure you're sending an uncompressed file. Because here's the thing, right? It's going to get compressed again. Now, you only want to have one level of compression. If you actually compress it yourself and you convert it to an MP3 file and then say you release it using a Muse or Distro Kid to Spotify, then Spotify are going to recompress it again. Even if you've already compressed it, they won't trust you. They will recompress it. So you're going to go through two different Different layers of compression and that can only be bad news for your audio quality. So at what point in the recording process do you need to worry about this? Well when you set up your project initially you're just going to set your project defaults to something like 24 bit 44.1 kilohertz bitrate again doesn't come into it because you're not going to be compressing your audio. It's when you go to share your file when you're actually exporting or sending your file out or rendering it out of your digital audio workstation like I'm showing here in GarageBand that's when you want to choose whether you want uncompressed or compressed. So just to completely make sure that we're clear here, choose uncompressed WAV file. That's going to be your most universally accepted file type in all situations. Only choose something else like one of these compressed file formats when you want to share it. Let's say you want to email it to a friend and say, here's my new track. I just wanted you to take a listen. That's a good chance for you to use a compressed file format because the file size is going to be much smaller. If you're going to use it in a video to upload to Facebook, to SoundCloud, Cloud, to YouTube, any other purpose, keep it uncompressed for as long as possible and you'll get the best quality audio. 
So I hope this has simplified and clarified this question for you. And if next time you're exporting your file, you're wondering, do I go compressed or uncompressed? Uncompressed is usually your friend. Thanks again for watching. There's two more videos linked down below, which you can check out. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon, and I'll see you on the next one.